I'm Diego with Day Oral Music. Thank you for joining me today as we have a look at this Carcassi piece. Now this is found in his Opus 59, which was a method book. And this is the part three, which was a section with 50 miniatures. Number 16, which is marked as a capriccio. Now this is a great piece for students because it can be played at a slower tempo, still be quite effective as you're working on the arpeggio and bringing your technique and musical concepts really uh, online. A capriccio is a lively and humorous piece, but this piece is not, not really humorous, so it's very dark. Should we start out in D minor? Of course, saddest of all keys. And uh, right away, we're hit with this first tension over the pedal D, which can either be our flat two dominant, E flat seven, or you could think of it as an A seven flat nine. Either way, a lot of tension introduced and then resolved again. Now, within our arpeggio, we find three musical ideas, three melodic ideas happening. We have the bass, which really you want to keep individual and clean. And then we have a melody line and inner voices on the subdivisions within the 16th. So that A on the one E and A, uh, that A pedal underneath there, that's your inner voice. And you really want to keep that down. You can find the musical ideas by playing on just the eighth note. So one and two and three and four and, and you're going to find all of your musical ideas in the bass and in the melody at those points. So I'd recommend trying to play it just like that to get a sense of really what's happening. For example, if we played all sixteenths. I'm going to strip that down to just the one and two and. We have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So you see that's where our bass line is happening and our melody is happening. And you want to keep both of those like two instruments or two players especially looking at keeping this bass line clean. If we look at when we go from bar two to bar three, this uh, beat three, bar two. Don't leave that D ringing. You want to stop that fourth string when you play the string five to keep that bass line really, really clean. And you'll see other examples throughout the piece where if you're not careful, the bass note from the previous chord will be ringing. So the technique I'm using, when we have a fourth string ringing, as in this example, I'm bringing in my left hand finger to block the string four. When we have our string five ringing, we bring in our string four, again, stopping that string five bass once we've entered, landed on our D chord. And you can do that by using your right hand thumb and placing it against the string five right before you play string four or simultaneously. And then that stops that string five, keeps that bass line really clean. Even here, for example, if you're not careful, you'll have the D and the C ringing. So rather, keep it clean. Only one bass note playing at a time ever. Again, trying to keep those melodies out, you can notice on the, the and, two, and. Popping that melody. Echo.
Now we enter the end of the piece. So I think the trick here is to keep that melody ringing. So the melody now falls on a syncopation for the first time. And if we, if we block our right hand to play those arpeggios, see it chops off our melody there. So rather than preparing your right hand, leave it free. And then with your left hand, build the chord one note at a time. And you can keep that melody ringing. Right? So it keeps it flowing nice and smooth. We'll answer to that. And then nice syncopations there. So again, we can hear in this melody. Once again, treating the eighth notes as the musical lines and those other subdivisions in the 16th as your inner voice bringing it down. So it's a beautiful piece, lots of fun, and there's really... I'm so impressed by how many musical concepts and uh, musical ideas can be developed by this little arpeggio study. So it's very, very useful for students, and you can take these ideas that you're programming into your hand, and they will serve you well when you move on to other pieces and need to apply these concepts. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you have fun with this piece and really delve into it because there is a lot of music to be found in there.